We're going to put this onto this pump. Russ Pellegrino of Centec Laboratories has been testing air for 40 years. His resume includes work at Ground Zero in the hours after the 9-11 attacks, and most recently, high-profile train derailments. The uh, canister will click to the regulator. Now he's measuring the smoke outside his shop in Syracuse. In one test, the metal canister will capture air to detect any gases. All we're going to do is flip the switch. In the second test, a fine filter inside a plastic vacuum collect what doctors are most worried about, microscopic particles of ash and soot. Certain uh, levels of concentration of that, healthy people are, are fine um, you know, to kind of breathe in a few of those. At certain levels, it's a problem for everyone. It was so bad here that uh, uh, when we came back in, like my motorcycle had uh, like soot on it. Once collected, the air blows through machines, which send results to a computer. Here's a compound that's been identified as a positive hit. Pellegrino sees higher than normal traces of limonene, a gas from burned pine. More consequential, the test for particles. The now filled filter isn't too discolored, but its weight is what matters. From the scale into a computer, we get results, 540. Higher than the government's readings, but within range considering wind and traffic pollution at different locations. When this is all over, changing your filters in your house, you know, you're going to have to get rid of it or you're going to keep on pushing it into the house. Same thing with your cars. Those are all going to get clogged with this stuff too. Like that campfire smell, he warns it might take a few days for everything to air out. In Syracuse, Andrew Donovan, News Channel 9.